Hey guys, welcome back. Mr. Wright here to another episode in Red Dead Redemption 2. So right now, I'm just sitting at the campfire. So what we're going to do is we're going to find... Where is it? Oh, right here. This place here. We're going to find our way to getting some new horses today. Um, yep. You know, this horse has treated us pretty good. But, you know, it spooks just a little bit too easy for my liking. Uh, and I believe there are some better horses for us. Now, this horse is well-rounded and got us pretty far in the game. So, you know, we got to bond with another one because this one's level four, but that won't be an issue. So, endurance, the horse that I'm going for has a little bit less endurance. But endurance really doesn't matter when you can just, you know, comfort your That's horse and you know gain it gain a little bit back so so this is where the place you want to come to in the game and i'll show you guys again one more time the problem is you're going to lose a little bit of honor here but you know at this point in the game if you're honorable you'll be fine so you come to this location you see those horses back there already you come to this port, port uh place in saint denis right so i'm in chapter two so this is where my camp is and here is Saint Denis, just north of Saint Denis. You come to this place, you see three little buildings, and you will come over and you will find horses right here. And what you do is, hopefully they haven't pa uh, patched this out just yet. But if you keep coming, you can actually study these horses. This is a Tennessee Walker. This isn't something that I want. So you keep coming back and forth, and you check out these horses. That's a Kentucky Saddler. So you just leave exit the game or go away from it some people are calling it glitch some people are calling it not a glitch because you don't actually have to com completely leave the area but for me i think it's kind of glitchy but you know what i don't care i, I don't think it's good to uh, you know not have the best horses in the game until after you beat the game i mean i'm not one of those people that come back and play games a lot so i don't think it i don't think that's beneficial to me so what you're going to do is keep coming back in and out the horses that i'm going for personally might differ from you guys i would like to get a mustang i would also like to get a black arabian just to have in my stable i would like to get a turkeyman or turkeyman however you pronounce that um and then um oh, the other horse that i'm looking for is actually eluding me right now but anyway oh yeah um a Missouri Foxtrotter. That's what I'm going to try to get. So I'm just going to do this a couple of times. Load the game. Load in. Load out. And hopefully I uh, get the horse that I want. And this method will work for you. I'll show you guys when I get the horse that I want. Alright, so I'm back here. I went far enough away. And right now all I have is a Morgan. Hey, sir. And then this one is a, a Morgan too. So I'm going to do this a couple more times. But I just want to show you guys that as long as you keep doing this, the horses will change and uh you can get any rare horse in the game you just got to make sure you can bond with it and you can put your saddle on it because otherwise you won't be able to keep the horse all right let me do it a couple more times it took me a while guys but i finally 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 got me a missouri fox rider oh my goodness and look at it oh my gosh it has one two three four five six seven speed standard it can go up to max and acceleration is five standard um, and it can go up to seven handling is standard as well and look at that coat oh my gosh it's a silver dap dapple pinto coat i love it i like the way it looks um i don't have a fox trotter right now but uh yeah so just to put it in perspective let me call my horse over here hopefully that horse doesn't go anywhere right now i'm nervous um my horse has let me see if i can show the info Whoop, here we go well if i could lock onto my horse um i have it has one two three four five six standard up by two and then it's just one less acceleration but the difference between that horse and this horse is the fox trotter is bigger which i like because the arabians look just look tiny they look like little bitty i don't know just crazy horses and this Whoa. look at this thing <laughs> It's all right, boy. Grab the saddle off of this horse. Let me get this off, girl. And then I'm going to put the saddle on this horse. And hopefully that guy doesn't notice too much. Take it easy, 
Calm down. Saddle up. There we go. And you, you guys heard that. So he heard me. So he heard me steal the horse. But does he know who I am? That's the thing. Just stay calm, amigo. It's all a big misunderstanding. Don't get confused about that. I will assume that means yes. All right, cool. So I think I'm good. Let me get out of town now with this horse. So I just stopped that witness. So, 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 so I tell you, I can tell the difference in the acceleration already. Um, it is a little bit slower, but we just got the horse, so we'll see what happens. So let me get to an open field and show you guys the difference real quick. I wanted to show you guys like how close you can get. See that alligator? Without getting spooked. This is the main benefit of having this horse. You see it? It gets a little spooked, but it still allows me to get even closer. And it doesn't even buck me off. See how calm it is? As opposed to the Arabian which will just basically just buck you off. I cannot believe how close I am getting to this, this gator. Look at that. I would have been bucked off by the Arabian already. Yeah, I'm, I'm really digging this horse. Let me see if I can get these guys a good size comparison. Oh, see, that. look at the Arabian. Gone. Completely gone. Not, not, look. This horse is a little freaked out, but it, it's not completely running away. Look, the Arabian won't even come over here, guys. So that's the thing. It's not, it's not just about, this basically shows what I'm, what I'm trying to demonstrate. Like, you, you would have to go chase down your horse for it to even come close to you. Like, that makes no sense. That's ridiculous. And look how much bigger this horse is than the Arabian. Well, we, whatever. That's nasty. But it and, and it and it just you don't look as silly riding this horse. So hopefully this method helps you guys. All you gotta do is like, look at the size difference. Look at the size difference, man. I like the Arabians, but man, the Fox Trotters and the Turkey Man will be my horse moving forward. I just I just feel like more of a cowboy, more of a guy in the Wild West, and I, my horse isn't just gonna buck me off when it gets a little nervous. So. Let me, let me know what you guys think. Let me know if this helped you out. And let me know what horse you're going to be looking for. And yeah, leave a like and a comment. And I will catch you guys in the next episode. Peace.